Hi, you all. I am here with my Tell Em Tuesday, and yes, Miko is back out. How you doing? But anywho, I'm hoping this video does not mess up. I did one for last week, but my webcam is acting real janky. It had my voice going normal, and then it was like, woo, woo, woo. and it's skipping. I don't know what's going on with it. I haven't even had it a year, so I don't know why it's tripping. But anywho, we will see. I will have to play my video back before I post it to make sure there's no tomfoolery going on. Anywho, um, I want to discuss Team Mom. I will mainly be discussing the Basketball Wives reunion, but before I hit on that, I want to discuss Team Mom in the game. Okay, on Team Mom, Chelsea, you know, I I'm so glad this is done because my thing is, if homeboy don't have a real job, okay, you haven't finished school, you're not paying any bills, your dad is doing any everything, why you gonna move this broke, busted, and disgusted dude up in your crib that you not even paying for? I mean, really. And then he dogs you out, you know, and, and, and you just take it. I'm just like, really? Um, so, whatever. Leah, I think her and Corey are so cute. I hope the rumors about her cheating on him are false because they seem like they have their heads on straight. Um, you know, I hope everything ends up being okay with one of their daughter who seems to be development, developmentally delayed. I hope everything is okay. Um, Janelle... people just need to give their children up for adoption okay because everybody is not mother material okay and to me she's one of those people um you know she's dealing with this beach bum dude you know whatever and it's like she's dependent on a romantic relationship and she will let a romantic relationship come before her child people who do that don't need children because your child should be your priority not getting a man or getting a woman so and she's beyond disrespectful you know what i'm saying she would have been laid out a long time ago if she was my daughter okay and she wouldn't have kept that baby either if she was my daughter because if you don't have a full-time job and you can't afford to completely support the child, guess what? You going to sign some paperwork at the adoption agency and give that baby to someone who can't take care of it. Because there's plenty of people out there who can't have children on their own and they are more than capable of providing. You know, I mean, really. Kaylin, I'm so happy that that situation is, is done so and her mom has finally stepped in because Kaylin needed to get her foolish self up out of that volatile situation a long time ago. And my thing is, what are you doing with your money? Because you can't afford to move out, okay? You couldn't afford school. Joe had to give her the money for school. My thing is, if you know you want to date other people, which I like Joe's mom said, she should not be trying to date other people right now. She needs to be focusing on her child and trying to get her own crib. But anywho, you know, you you trying to go to school, be independent. You don't have time for all that foolishness. Then you ain't got no money, okay? You borrowing money from your baby daddy, you know, who you already are indebted to because his family took you in. And it's like, if you don't like the situation, do something about it. Up your hours. Increase your hours from part-time to full-time. And start stacking your cheese. You living there for, for rent-free. So what are you doing? I'm confused. So... Anywho, I hope she becomes a little more independent, gets gets out of the space, because she seems to be a little space cadet. Just the, the look on her face a lot of time, I'm like, is anybody home? 
Okay. Anywho, on to the game. I am not appreciating what is going on with Melanie. I mean, before, you know, you could see the whole starry eyed, she kind of wanted this lifestyle with Darwin, you know. But now it's getting to the point of being ridiculous with her trying to have this certain image or facade. Because if I was Darwin, I would be a little concerned for her mental well-being because seriously, the lying and the blatant lying, like, you're not pregnant. So as soon as her mom was like, oh, you're expecting, she should immediately be like, no, you know. But to let her run with it and then when Darwin comes out, tell him, you better not take this moment away from me. Are you okay, boo? Are you okay? Like, what is going on with you? What's going on in your world? That, you know, that you trying to snap on me behind covering up a lie. And a lie that is going to be revealed in a few months. Okay? Unless you... Maybe she's going to get him to knock her up so she can, you know, kind of work that out. I, I don't know. I don't know where they're going with the storyline, but I'm not liking who Melanie has become. Jason, I'm glad, you know, he made Brittany a priority because she bad as hell. Okay, Tasha Mack, I really did want her to go upside her head. But anywho, you know, you can't be just going upside other people's children's head, but... She could have used it. All right. Now, to the true tomfoolery. Basketball Wives Reunion. Part one was last week. Not last week. Well, yeah, Sunday. Part two was last night, Monday. Okay. I, I have to breathe because... For grown behind 30-something, near 40, some of them, year old women, to conduct themselves in that manner is ridiculous. On the reunion, Tammy was poised, well-spoken. Thank you. Lay off the drinks. Okay. Sober, she was, she was great. Okay. And I really did appreciate what she had to say, you know, to Susie. About being a true friend because yes, if you're someone's true friend, if your friend tells you something, you don't run and go tell the person your friend was talking about what they said. Like seriously, even if you're friends with both people, you just keep that in confidence. You don't do the running back and forth. That's just, that's messy. So, you know, I appreciated her telling Susie, you know, look, you need to learn how to be a friend, but really she need to be telling Evelyn the same thing. Because Evelyn is one of those chicks who put everything on other people and doesn't look in the mirror. Because for her to have so much hostility towards Royce, it, it was ridiculous. You know, I understand, you know, Royce does not back down which Evelyn probably doesn't like because it seems that Evelyn likes people who she can kind of control, a.k.a. Jen. Okay, because Jen is, just follows Evelyn around like a little lap dog. <coughs> you know, doesn't really speak up a lot, soft-spoken. That works. <clears throat> but when you try to buck up, that's a problem for Evelyn, okay? Which is why I think she and Royce are bumping heads. But what Evelyn did to Royce with that fashion thing was, was wrong. Like, you know, if, if you're supposed to be somebody's friend, it doesn't matter if, if, the, if the clothes look like some trash bags, whatever. 
as a friend, you support. You know what I'm saying? And then to get an attitude because she's upset that you backed out at the last minute and aren't being supportive. I mean, that's ridiculous. And, you know, the way they talked about her little boyfriend, whatever, whatever. It's like, look. When have you gotten married? Uh, a 10-year relationship doesn't count. Okay, you've never been married, so I need you to stop dishing out advice about folks' men. You know, everybody has to learn on their own and has to travel their own journey. You know, now she asked you what you thought about him and whatever. That's a little different, but you still kind of watch what you say because at the end of the day they may stay together and if you've said all this negative stuff about her man that may drive a wedge between you as friends so you have to be very careful when you talk to people about their mates so you know she needs to learn her role and then you know the whole Chad Ocho Cinco debauchery Okay, supposedly he's got this other chick pregnant. He said that the Evelyn thing was just for TV, supposedly, which I wouldn't doubt. Okay, so my thing is this, boo. Stop being so trifling. Stop being so mad at the world and angry and just every other word, be this, be that. You know, like I tell children who curse using curse words instead of just speaking without profanity shows that you lack intelligence because if the only thing you can think of is b and f and da -da -da, instead of using non-profanity that means you can't think of anything better to say so, read a book. You know, you might need, she might need to take some college classes with her daughter. But, you know, as a parent, think about how you appear on TV. Like, if, the, if, if I was her daughter, I would be embarrassed. Like, that's ridiculous. You know, that whole groupie, be, all she does talking about groupie this, groupie that. But you... You know, if you want to sleep with somebody on the first night, that's fine. But don't talk about people being groupies and yada, yada, yada. And you're on national TV going on a first date with Chad. And then, come on. That's groupie behavior. Okay. So, I don't know. Jen and Muffle Mouth. I, I'm hoping that she finally did the divorce proceedings because she was really dragging her feet on that and he seemed to really care less. It was kind of like, whatever, I'll sign the paperwork. Like, I'm not going to fight either way for the marriage or against the marriage. What Do what you do. Okay. So, I'm really hoping that she did the paperwork. The pictures thing, whatever. You know, who gives a flip? Um... Gloria. I like to I like she looked cute last night. She looked cute. But she she needs to calm down on her anger as well. She seems to be very angry. You know, I understand that the women talk junk about her or whatever, but calm down. You know, she did come off like, oh, they're jealous of me. They're jealous of my relationship. You know, I have I have my man, you know, da 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 da. But then you're not married, okay? And what, let me, I posted this online last night because this, this whole phenomena of being ready to have children but not get married really baffles me, okay? Because the whole, you know, we, we believe in marriage, but we feel that, you know, we're not ready for that type of commitment right now. 
but you're ready to have the commitment of some children and you can't divorce kids all right you know now i don't uh suggest divorce you know but sometimes things just don't work out you know and there's no way around it trust me i know so it happens and it's an option you know no one goes into marriage expecting to get divorced but you know that if stuff hits the fan and it's things that cannot be resolved you do have an out but when you have children with somebody there is no out you're tied to that person for the rest of that child's life so if you're ready to lay down and get somebody pregnant or lay down and get pregnant but you say you're not ready to marry that person i just don't understand because once you have a child you're tied for life so to me I would be more hesitant personally I would be more hesitant to have a child with someone than to marry someone because if I marry someone and don't have any children like with Jennifer Jennifer situation with them getting a divorce that's it it's clean they have nothing else tying either one of them they can move on with their lives and no one else is affected besides the two of them in their divorce when you have kids if you split your kids are affected okay and even if you don't get married if you're together and you break up and your kids are now in two separate households that will impact them it's not just about the two of you anymore it's about your children so to me that's more of a commitment than being with someone you love and saying okay let's do this let's 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 put this on lock let's get married because once you enter once you bring children to an equation you you've gone to another level and to me that's a deeper level than marriage because now you have brought another life into the equation that's just me though so I, I just don't get the whole we're not ready for marriage but you ready for some twins <sighs> another thing about Evelyn that whole I don't care about Tammy and I, and I don't care if she, she trusts me or not I don't care but then on the end of the reunion part two oh now she hopes Tammy can trust her again and she and she would like to build something with Tammy what happened to the big and bad oh I don't care no, 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 no. I'm thinking because it seemed that the audience was siding with Tammy and that Tammy spoke the most knowledge I think that's why she changed her tune personally I think that's why she changed her tune because Tammy was pretty much like the one getting the kudos and so now she's just trying to jump on that bandwagon that that's that is the main because how are you going to flip in a matter of minutes or hours, whatever? Because the reunion was taped in one day, I think. So, how are you going to flip? But I hope Tammy, you know, does not get her, get her too close because she's trifling. Like, I, I'm sorry, but some women are just not good friends. They're just not, and, sh and she's one of them she's selfish and like i said if you're the type who will let her run everything she's cool but if you try to buck up against her or have an opinion that's different it's a problem so um that's all oh i like uh mr sally as the host he 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 kept it real and, and he was funny i i thought that was that was a great choice um but that's it, y'all. Peace, love, and so. <laughs>
Bye, y'all.